of decimal points isn't rocket science, Pilar. And we did do our best to help. You guys are awesome tutors. I just have a block when it comes to... <laughs> Buckets. Recess means snack time for your hungry butts! Translation, dining means atomic wedgie, so... Duck and cover! Miles Van Vleep and Kelvin Quark, prepare to wear your undies for a hat! Let's dance. Our subatomic fiber laser is calibrated to scramble the molecules of standard grade cotton blends while triggering torque equivalent to the force of a planet's gravitational pull. Behold, the atomic originator. How do you spell that last part? Sorry, prepping for today's spelling bee? Miles, Kelvin, you are coming, right? Will you be spelling any equations? I think you two can take a break from protecting humankind for an hour after school today. I mean, what are the chances of some weird science event occurring during the bee? Gather round, my unhumans. As you may recall, my recent test run with a teleportation device went horribly awry when a common honeybee was trapped inside with me. Is it on me? Let me out! Let me out! Not ideal, since their fuzzy little hides really sketch me out. Oh, and I happen to be violently allergic. <laughs> but I, Professor Zan, rebounded with a vengeance. Having my own DNA merged with BNA inspired me to genetically engineer a zombie! Da -da -da -da! You're handsome like your daddy, aren't you? Yes, <laughs> But my brief stint as man slash bee heeded more than a vanity pet. My human side couldn't help but notice my bee side constantly expectorating a vile but potent form of nectar. I came to realize that if an army of mutant zombies produced enough of this super duper goopy goo, I could put the entire planet in one sticky situation. All I require is a local colony for mass production. My conveniently located, unsuspecting grade school guinea pigs will do. Now don't forget, I know how in the zone you both get once you start tinkering with your latest project. Pilar! Oh, you aren't planning to attend today's function dressed like that. Gee, Susie, I never got the spelling bee's been preempted by the fashion bee memo. <sighs> you choose to deny my ability to launch the next bold new fashion craze from any school social? Or don't you recall my bake sale a la Parisian chic? <laughs> Keep hanging out with these two fashion plates, or should I say, petri dishes, and you'll never rise above 17th most popular on this campus. What just happened? Something about pastries. And maybe our choice of wardrobe? I think. As functional as they are stylish, my bee focals will allow me to see exactly what my creation sees in real time. Ooh. Oh, this is weird. These may take some getting used to, and uh, ah, oh. Yes, every hive needs a queen. Ow! <laughs> Cellular mutation commencing. A brief incubation period, then it's showtime. Miles, perhaps we are supposed to be somewhere. Forget the beep, Kelvin. What's the buzz? Only a bee. The, the spelling bee! Whoa, the subject displays unusually aggressive behavior. We could be dealing with a Bolivianized assassin bee. Kelvin, the 
there's something peculiar about this specimen. It clearly never trims its nose hairs. Initiate rigorous, rigorous testing, testing procedures! Stat! Welcome to Gloverdale's 17th Annual Spelling Bee! This is your bold new fashion craze? I thought stripes went out with the whole French thing. And what's with the bouffant, Grandma? Miles? Calvin? How do you spell disappointing? <laughs> I may need to lie down for a bit. Oh, uh. Oh, Miss Pinkerton, how clever of you to celebrate our event with a visual pun. <laughs> Coincidentally, I was bumbled by a bee just earlier today. <laughs> Pulling my undie pants out of my guts took forever. It hurt almost as bad as that dumb bee bite. <laughs> my undie pants! Susie Pinkerton, please spell glamour. Susie's favorite word. This competition is totally rigged! <laughs> uh, B Z Z Z. Z Z Z. Uh, incorrect. Ha! How do you spell brain fart? Pilar Escobar, please spell Austin T. <laughs> Austin T. Bus. Can you use that word in a sentence, please? <laughs> Pinkerton, you had your turn! Whoa, you really do know how to launch a fashion trend. Join your queen, join the hive. The sheer number of human DNA strands extracted from the subject suggests the work of a ruthless serial stinger. And the identity matches confirm the entire faculty and student body as its collective victim. Minus you, or me, or... <laughs> Let me guess. You already know about the, uh... Fully operational hive comprised of bees mutated from the population of Groverdale Elementary? But we haven't deduced how you managed to avoid contagion, Pilar. I skipped fourth period to go get a boba. Mmm, creamy and, and delicious. But refreshments will have to wait. This is a case for eggheads to crack. Let's scramble. Dudes, not to pull a Pinkerton, but you can't sneak into a killer honey pit dressed like that. They'll spot you instantly. What, what would you suggest? The zombie drones are swarming. But to what end? Kelvin, probability analysis. These wax medley, and the propellant shortage, toys are stuck, skyrocket, you've tapped up in with honey. Sticky and sickly sweet. A hive is not a home when it's a high density sticky bun. I mean, bomb. Buzz? It's no use. Our cover's blown. <gasps> Based organisms typically rely upon pheromone recognition. Smell, not sight. Pheromone? Is that spelled with an F or a Now! Be Ewing! Stink bombs? I resonance pheromone scramblers. That is so not a real word. If we take the queen, the drones should follow.
Probable. We're super smart. Square. <sighs> the unhuman spa package is surprisingly rejuvenating. I really should check the progress of my diabolical plan before beginning my clay wrap. Oh. Uh. Help me! Huh? <laughs> 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 Back to our rescheduled spelling bee. After that awful Bolivianized beef.